Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jasmine's World and of course I'm your host, Jasmine. And today what we're going to be doing da, 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 is Bantu Knots. So guys, I am doing Bantu Knots because my hair is getting really oily and I just don't like it when it's oily. Like it's just kind of dreadful for me. So either the solutions for me are either to use flexi rods or to find some heatless way to curl my hair so this time i was like let me try something new let's try bantu knots mind you guys i have never done bantu knots on myself i've done them on other people but just never on myself so this is going to be an experience the products that i am going to be using today just these hair ties because it's easier to keep them and it doesn't hurt to me as much as bobby pins would so yeah i'm going to be using these hair ties i have four here so i'm going to do big sections because i want big curls and then i have my pick because i need it to part and then i have my lot of body setting lotion to set the style okay so i'm going to start by parting my hair this setting lotion in and I'm not using a lot like my hands are barely wet so I'm just gonna run it down the shaft do, do, do. and it says you're supposed to twist it like this okay guys so here's the deal i did a horrible job on this first twist so i'm not gonna make you guys watch this but i am gonna show you guys the end result and how i fixed it okay that's what it looks like Y'all, I am not good at this. What is that? Okay, we're gonna try the other side. Now I'm adding a little bit more hair this time to this section because I just felt like, I don't know, I didn't have enough hair in that last section. Well, the, the front section the last time. So, I'm gonna try to do these off camera and I'm coming back. Okay, guys, as I suspected, I was right. The more I do it, the better I get. And I realized that instead of just twisting all the way down and then um, putting it into the knot, I should have twist and put in the knot as I went, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do on, on these two on this side now, just to see. And I also am going to resection them because it's just not enough um, which is actually not that bad, but I just feel like, you know, to actually get the good curl, I have to redo it. Part here. Just gonna give me some more hair in this section. I mean, it kinda looks the same, but it's a little, I think it's a little bit bigger. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I did in the other sections. So course get my setting lotion i probably didn't need as much as i got but it's too late we're already here and i'm not wasting this product it's crazy so just raking it through my hair and then i'm gonna take my wet brush and brush it and i'm twisting it away from my face and as i'm twisting i'm gonna start wrapping the knot as i'm twisting Hold on. And I hold it with my other hand. So I'm wrapping and twisting at the same time. I'm holding the knot as I'm going. And normally when you switch hands, it's the opposite way to twist. And I use my finger to help me hold the twist in place as I'm moving to a different portion of the hair strands so as you can see it looks like a band too bad now y'all i don't know what i was doing before I feel, like, uh -oh, I feel like i should have actually watched something to figure out you know how to do a band too much and this one is a lot higher up on my here than the other one so I may go back and redo it just so I feel like you know they're uniform 
but yeah there's my bantu knot and i feel like like i said the more i do it the better i get so i feel like these are definitely gonna be a lot tighter than these um are I just had to show you guys this because I'm taking it down so it can be about the same um, height. But I'm kind of like, dang, do I want it to be this height? Because I think this one was about here and this one is like up here. Um, but it, it did like this and I, I like that a lot. And I was kind of going for a wave, but I don't know. We'll see. I think, I'm, I think I am going to put it up here because, you know, curls fall throughout the day and I do want them to be a little bit tighter so it can last longer. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm finished with my four bangs and nuts. I could not get this one tighter. I thought I was going to be able to, but I just could not do it. So this is what they look like. My four little sections, my antennas. I will come back in the morning to show you guys what it is looking like and how it turned out. I think that it's going to go well. I really do. So, see you guys in the morning. Hey y'all, good morning. Like I told y'all, I'm going to sleep and then I'm waking up to show you guys what the takedown process is going to be like. So, I double know if this thing is a little tight. This one is definitely a little squished, but we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna start in the back. Um, I think this one has been in the longest, so I'm gonna start with the one that's been in the longest. And just grab a little hair tie and yeah, we'll try that. So. Oh, it looks so good, y'all. Look. Let me do this one. This one was the tightest one, y'all. Like, oh my gosh. I couldn't get any of the other ones as tight as this. Y'all, this looks so good. Okay, let's get to unraveling. Honestly, I'm not going to um, put any oil on my hands because, oh my gosh, y'all. I'm not going to put any oil on my hands simply because um, my hair is in the straight state. Like, this is from flat irons. So, I don't want to make it too oily. That's the reason why I uh I started doing this. Uh, Y'all, it turned out so well. Why didn't I think of this before? I should have done Bantu nuts before. Oh my gosh. It is a little bit flat at the root, but that's because I didn't do it up here. I did it here. Just, you know, just in case I didn't like it and I had to like switch it up or whatever. There's a there's a dent there, so I'm just gonna kind of shake it towards the front, so it's not as noticeable, I guess. Wow, this turned out very well. I am so happy, y'all. Cause I mean, why not? We're here. Okay, just gonna part, but I'm not gonna like 
use the combing part all the way down because like I said we are working with curls and I'm just shaking the middle to get that oh my gosh y'all it looks so good I'm so satisfied this could be a Christmas look this is so cute and a good way to you know revive your your silk press or your blowout or whatever because it's not oily but it looks like it's fresh and it still looks glossy and yeah it looks like you put a lot of effort and it looks like you literally went in and wand curled but you did not you just did four bantu knots and went to sleep and shout out to a lot of body this is the only product i used in this and i feel like it did kind of take out some of that oil that was happening in my hair and i'm grateful for that i feel like it looks great i'm super happy and satisfied i think this looks awesome hey guys thank you all so much for watching yet another one of my videos i hope that it was helpful as well as educational for you guys and if so please don't hesitate to like comment share subscribe and of course don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time i post new content have a blessed day